<laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our channel, Body Emotion 97. Um, as we promised, today we brought our Funko Pop Advent Calendar for 2020. Um, Mia and I, don't give that away, Mia and I found this in October. We just saw it online. I think it was like an ad on my Facebook or something because I was looking for a Nightmare Before Christmas stuff for Mia's birthday. And it was available October 13th, so I went and bought it literally on October 13th. It was $39.99 on Amazon. Now, on Amazon, it is... 80 bucks. 80 bucks. Or 90. If you can even find it. They have Harry Potter. They have... Jack and Z. Yeah. But these are ridiculous. So... We bought it October 13th, and then Mia convinced me to open it in November. And why did you say? Because it's in the middle of Christmas and Halloween. And it's both a Christmas and Halloween movie. And obviously, I'm just a sucker, and I let her. So, this, you guys, this is super cool. And so I'm slightly obsessed, and I'm glad that we bought it. It was so worth the money when I bought it. It's even worth probably the 80 bucks. Yeah, but I wouldn't have like, bought it then. Every figure is like 10 bucks. Yeah, but I wouldn't have bought it then. I'm actually surprised I bought it when I did, huh? <laughs> I'm cheap. Um, anyway, so this is what the inside looks like. You have a big little cutout for your door. Like, See? Look at that in there. And what was cool about us opening this early, that the... Um, the 24th was actually the day before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. It was actually like perfect timing for when we did it. It was really cool. Or it's the day before, before Thanksgiving. Anyway, the way it worked out was really awesome. But I would tell you guys to go find this, but good luck on your search. And also, I guess we should say ahead of time, spoiler alert, because you're going to see, we're going to show you everything that comes in it. Um, so, spoiler alert. Okay, just roll it out, Vanna. Which one do you think we should start first? Um, you start with your favorite one, and I'll my start with favorite my favorite. One? We're not going to go in order of how they came, because we don't remember, frankly. The only ones I remember is day one and the last day. Um, let's start with... One sec, I'm going to get all this gold letter off. Hold okay, on. so I guess I'll start with my favorite then, since she's taking some okay. time. Um, <laughs> this is a glow in the dark zero. The, I am kind of upset about this one because the nose doesn't glow, and that's the whole part. That's the whole, um, how they say Christmas. But it does well, glow in the dark. Yeah. Well, yeah, how they saved it. Well, I guess him glowing is how they saved it, but it's really cool. The it's super cute. I wish my phone would actually show you the details. Um, it does come with how many? One, two. There is this one is a glitter. Probably can't see it well. Yeah, but that one's super glittery. And, then and you have the normal. See so comparisons. Oh well, yeah, you can kind of see it. Yeah, it's glittering a little bit. So all in all, out of the 24 days, we got three three different zeros, which is totally fine by me because I love zeros. I lo We got the normal, glittery, and glow in the dark. So. Cool. Also, um, only that zero was like a whole glow in the dark. I mean, the whole glow in the dark. Yeah, there was no other glow in the darks. But there were, it's just cool because there's two glitters, but actually the other one was like... And then you do get... The three trick-or-treaters. The three trick-or-treaters, if I can oh. find the third one. Oh, right here. Oh, right in front of my face. And I don't know if you guys have ever bought, like, the Funko Pop keychains, but these are basically the exact same size as, like, those little mini keychains, which obviously we love because we're obsessed with all things Nightmare Before Christmas. Anyway, so you get the three of them. Okay, can I start with mm -hmm. two? Go ahead. You have this one. It's a normal jack, if you guys remember from Christmas Town. And then you have the glittery jack. Sparkle and glittery. They're so cute. I'm not going to lie. Like, I am really obsessed with this 
collection. Okay, one of my favorites is this one when he's obsessing over how to make Christmas Town or Christmas. Yeah. It's got the little book that says Scientific Method. Yeah, the Scientific Method. Uh, that's one of my favorite ones. Um, one of my favorite ones is this one, the one that we got on the last day. Yep, and I drew a picture of that. Paint it. Paint it. Even better, paint it, which was harder. I can't get anybody um, to stand up. This one, I'm, I love. Love, love, love. And that was the actual day one, the first This one was day one, yeah. yeah. Spoiler alert, again. Um, one of my other favorites was Santa. Yeah, and shockingly, he was like middle of the month, wasn't he? Yeah, he was like the 22nd. Yeah. Then you get, of course, not one but two Sallys. But they're both one different. One where she's sitting down sitting with down. the flower, and then one where she's holding the basket to give to Jack Skellington. Yeah, I didn't even notice she was holding the basket in this one. Cute. Oh, I'd also put... Then you get little funky characters from I want to do these the Halloween last. town. I'm going to do those last because it's my okay. favorite pictures. You get this guy. Oh, backwards. <laughs> that little guy. He makes one of the toys for Christmas. This kid. Um, That one is one of the toys that they make for when they send to the kid's house. That's the clown with the tearaway face. And last but not least. Um, that one is... I, I don't know. Name. He's just in the beginning with the whole singing. Also, he's in Christmas. When he's in Christmas time for everyone. Also. And, and then, of course, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Two-Faced Mayor. Okay, and then you have the scientist that made Sally's Sally. Sally's creator. Yes. And then you have, of course, you have, I think, six total Jacks. One, two skeleton, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah. Santa, oh, wait. scientist, seven. Jack. Oh yeah, eight. Because seven. Yeah, seven. This one is Jack's holding a snowflake, and this Jack is not. It's just different hand. So. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, it couldn't be Nightmare Before Christmas without the nightmare component. Which is the two drum roll. Ooh, boogie boogies. Boogie boogies, our favorite. I'd have to say, prob we got. I think we got this on like the sixth day, and I wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Because I didn't think he would come so early, and then he got this one. I think on like the nineteenth. Which is Tammy's birthday. Mm -hmm. Tammy is oogie boogie. <laughs> so overall. Like, this collection is super cool. I know there was a Harry Potter one as well, so I can only imagine how cool those ones would be. Um, Mia begged and begged and begged, and I am super cheap, and I never give in, so I'm actually really happy that I gave in on this one. So if you can find it, I would say buy it, because it's so worth it, and you can keep these little collectibles forever. So it's already obviously going to be a collectible, since you can barely buy it online anymore. So moral of that story is listen to your kid when sometimes when they want to buy cool things she's just lucky that i'm a sucker for this stuff too <laughs> anyway i'm gonna kind of just go back over all of the toys they're really cool anyway what do you have to say mia happy Hi. thanksgiving <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching and um let us know if you find any cool things and if you get one of these and if you open it. Okay? Yeah. Bye.